Hi and welcome to this video on an enhancement detail on an Audi which is less than a year old and this vehicle took by surprise when I turned it up because uh, I quoted blind on it being a new vehicle I didn't think it would be that bad um, but this gives a really good example of what hand car washes can do to your car now I don't want to taint every single hand car wash with the same brush as being brush bin the word to use uh, in the same light because I'm sure there are different ones that use good processes and ones that don't use good processes and in my experience the latter is usually the one which appears so just by watching the video you can if you do like hand car washes being controversial and saying they're all bad, well, that is unfair um, because there will be some good ones. But if you just look at the processes that uh, a detailer and valeter like myself uses, this is standard process that anyone should use when cleaning a car. So if you do like using them, and there is a place for hand car washes, and some people like them, they're, they're great value for money, but this will, will outline some of the processes that they do use and some of the products they use. Um, and what essentially they really should be doing which will keep your paintwork in decent condition and clean it in a safe manner so I'll run through to you with what I used and how I did this car and you will see how it should be done without gaining the damage on the paintwork that was in this Audi which bearing in mind is less than a year old so if we discuss hand car washes, generally what hand car washes use for detergent is what we call TFR for short, traffic film remover. Now there's several strains of traffic film remover and some are good, some are bad for vehicle paintwork. When I say they're bad, a heavy caustic chemical TFR it's generally used to clean heavy dirt off chassis on lorries um, or lorries where they they gather lots of dirt and, and heavy heavy dirt to clean off now the caustic is quite a cheap chemical it cleans very quickly but the only thing is it does tarnish trim and it will strip any protection on your vehicle signs of heavy TFR strong caustic TFR are speckling to trim and the paintwork on your vehicle will go completely flat so the water sits on it rather than beading up or sheeting and running off the vehicle itself. So this is an enhancement detail and protection detail. Because the damage is stained from, from bad washing we had to correct all the damage on the vehicle and afterwards what we're going to do is after the machine polishing we will be adding protection to both the interior and the exterior surfaces. A standard wash technique of cleaning a car would be to snow foam the vehicle which will go onto the vehicle, soak into the dirt, allowing it to be pressure washed off without any touch to the vehicle, without any, any contact, any friction between it, any sponge or wash mitt which you should be using. A good wash mitt is what you want to use. So it's sensible practice to use a two bucket wash system. Very simple process, you have two buckets both with grit guards in to remove any dirt from your wash mitt, one with fresh water to clean out your wash mitt when it becomes clogged with dirt or has any kind of dirt in it, regularly cleaned out, and your second bucket which has your wash shampoo in, it could be a wash and wax or just a cleaning agent. Once the vehicle is cleaned off then we can employ a fallout remover which removes any iron ore which can possibly be embedded into paintwork or to wheels so when you come to polish you've got the best surface possible for your agent to bond to for your protection and gloss any tar is also removed by using a tar remover rather than claying or using a mechanical kind of process which could possibly damage the vehicle's clear coat and then finally when that surface is cleaned we'll use a clay system which can be a clay bar or a clay mitt 
with a lubricant such as a quick detailer or a shampoo so not to drag clay across the vehicle and now our body work is now just about ready for machine polishing. Once we've cleared the vehicle down then it's time to remove the cobwebbing from the vehicle or the swirl marks within the paintwork which has been caused by bad washing in the case of our Audi here. So once all the machine polish has been completed and refined, Swiss Fat Shield was then applied to the vehicle to give a long period high gloss wax finish. The interior in our, on our Audi was uh, a little dirty so there was parts on the car which needed extracting ideally but because it was a cool time of year there was only a, a few parts on the vehicle that wanted the heavy staining removed we employed a steam cleaner. The steam cleaning chemical removed all the dirt and the spillage and ensured that the vehicle wouldn't stay damp and start smelling a damp. It dried out very quickly. The leather interior was cleaned and we do recommend that when you buy vehicles from you that a leather sealant coating is applied to stop any transfer from, from clothing um, and repel any dirt that's on there and it certainly does make cleaning the leather much much easier in the future. So this is something which we recommend you be put on your vehicle when it's new and then you will you will help stop any kind of staining from clothing in the future. So that's it, our Audi has been cleaned, it's been protected, it's been restored. Now this might make people think twice about using hand car washes, this is something which they do come across on a fairly regular basis. There is a place for these, these outlets and outfits around the UK uh, and potentially around the world, but if you do like using them then take a look at the processes they use and see if they fit in with what I've just shown you because if they don't, the chances are they could be damaging the paintwork on your vehicle. So I'm Matt Jones, thanks for watching uh, and have a look at our YouTube channel. There's more videos on there that uh, will give you insights of the services that we provide and potentially if you do clean your car yourself then there will be skills which I employ which you can adapt yourself quite easily so you can enjoy your car as much as we enjoy cleaning them.